wiring. What else do I need? Well, I need L. IL equals CW of W, R, and Y. Everybody agrees with that? And I need K equals CR of W, R, and Y. Okay? All right. And I think that's it. Okay, that's all I need. Oh, no. I need number four, which is y equals f of L and K. Right? I need output to be equal to the uh, amount that's, I need labor and capital sufficient to produce the equilibrium amount of output. So what I'm going to do is just like I did over here, think about changes, I'm going to explain this system in terms of changes, okay? I want you to think about this as price equals marginal cost. This is output market equilibrium. This is cost minimization. And this is the production cost. So my industry model is going to have three, four ingredients. It's got competitive pricing, price equals marginal cost. It's got an output market equilibrium that says whatever that price is, it's got to be consistent with the level of output that consumers demand. I got to have my firm's maximizing profits, which corresponds to minimizing cost. And uh, four, I got to satisfy my production function. All right. So let's think about what each of these mean in terms of percentage changes in the, the variables of interest. Okay? All right. So let's think about perturbing this equation. I'm going to get delta P equal to what? What's delta P with constant returns to scale? Delta P has to be equal to what? In terms of the change in W and R. What? Be zero? If W and R are changing, let's assume W and R are changing exactly. I want to study factor demand. How would this industry respond to changes in W R? What would be true in the competitive industry about how output prices would move? Well, they got to move with marginal cost. How is marginal cost affo what, affected by changes in W and R? Anybody know? Well, no. Let's just go. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's think about it. Well, what's our equation? P equals CY of WR and, or C of WR and 1. Everybody agrees with that? Yes? Agrees. So DP equals CW of WR and 1 times DW plus C R W R and 1 D R. Everybody agrees with that? Yes, no, maybe so, right? That's usual trick to totally differentiate the equilibrium condition, right? My equilibrium condition is price equal to unit cost. All right. So what's CW of W R and 1? That's the amount of output, uh, amount of labor you use to produce one unit of output. Because we have constant returns to scale, that's just L over Y, right? It's labor per unit output times DW plus K over Y DR. OK. 
Okay, we're getting close. I want to make these into percentage changes. What do I do? Divide that by W. I want to put a W there. Divide that by P. I put a P here. Do the same for R. And so what is it? Delta P equals, right? That's the percentage change in P. That's delta P has to be equal to share of labor, delta W, plus the share of capital, delta R. Exactly. That is the change in the price of output is just a share weighted average of the change in the input price. Anybody understand that? So that might, that's going to be my first equation, equation number one. Delta P equals SL delta W plus SK delta R. That's going to tell me that if input prices change or drive it the other way, output prices change, my input prices, you have to satisfy this relationship to stick with this price equals marginal cost equilibrium, right? As long as I have price equals marginal cost, I got to obey that equation. As wages and prices move, I got to satisfy that equation, okay? It's a very simple equation. This, of course, depends on constant return. You can see I use constant returns to scale to get that. What about number two? What's equation number two expressed as changes? How about if I'm going to hold demand fixed, I get delta Y equals epsilon D delta P, right? That is the change in output is going to have to be equal to the elasticity of demand times the change in the price of the product. That is, consumers are just going to move along their demand curve as product prices move. If you want to have a shift in demand, just add delta D to that if you want. But I, right now, I'm doing it with demand fixed. What about equation four? I'll skip to four. How are we going to fill out equation four? Any idea on equation four? What's the ex production function expressed in changes? Well, how do you think we're going to do it? We only know one way, right? Y equals F of L and K. DY equals F L DL plus F K DK, right? But he agrees with that, right? Now what do we do? Well, I want to make a percent changes, so dy over y equals fl over y times l, dl over l, plus fk times k over y dk over k. What's this? What's L, F, L over Y? Well, we put a P here, and a P here, and a P here, and a P here. Yep, that's SL, delta L, plus SK, delta K. So the change in output is a weighted average of the changes in input quantities. All right, so that's going to be my equation. Four. Delta Y equals SL delta L plus SK delta P. 